एक न्यू बिगिनिंग लेट सी वॉट डज द चार्ट स्पीक फॉर गोल्ड एंड सिल्वर वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट आर ट्रेडिंग स्ट्रेटेजी फॉर द डे एंड द ट्रेडिंग लेवल्स वेयर यू कैन एंटर वेदर टू बाय वेदर टू सेल वी विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट डू वॉच टिल दी एंड डू लिसन टू इट केयरफुली डू नोट डाउन द लेवल्स एंड डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट मिसिंग ऑन टू सब्सक्राइब इज मिसिंग ऑन द प्रॉफिट डो नॉट फॉर गेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट विल स्टार्ट विद गोल्ड फॉलोड विद सिल्वर एंड यस the next update on gold will be up before the us cash session so do press the bell icon so let's have a look at the early see on the early charts it is trying to trade bearish but at the same time it is the complete movement is engulfed between this big big red candle hence you have to be watchful of 1690 yes you can sell below 1690 and at the same time look at 1700 it is providing it a very strong resistance and then 1705 1710 are the next resistance levels Also, it is trading at the bottom of the Bollinger Bands. You need to be careful there. The directional movement is bearish. The stochastic is looking downwards. The MACD is also bearish, and RSI is also trying to enter into oversold zone. Let's have a further detail look into the other time frames. And if you look at the two-hour charts, likewise on the two-hour charts, lower highs are seen. At the same time, the complete movement is engulfed between this candle. Hence. Only short entry I will recommend is below sixteen ninety levels. At the same time, since it is giving you lower highs, yes, you can buy at seventeen hundred, which is a breakout, and beyond that seventeen oh five, seventeen ten levels. See, seventeen ten now is going to be a major resistance there. Seventeen ten, seventeen twelve levels. If it trades beyond this, certainly more bullishness till seventeen fifteen and twenty levels can be expected. Beyond that, it will fly. Directional movement is still bearish. Stock is still entering into oversold zone. The MACD. See consistently trading bearish here. It is still divergent. RSI is also likewise trying to enter into oversold zone. Now look at the three R charts. On the three R charts, this is a breakout candle, and you can see this is first red candle. Probably the second red candle may also appear, which may try to take it below seven sixteen ninety. And then on the downside, you have to be careful till sixteen eighty four, sixteen eighty levels. The next support zone is between this, and then it will drop till towards this zone at sixteen seventy. Very strong support at sixteen seventy level exists. Directional movement bearish. It is diverging again. Stochastic is at bottom. The MACD is divergent, and it is still bearish. And RSI is also looking downwards, indicating we can expect a drop if it continues to trade below sixteen ninety levels. Now look at the Four R charts. Likewise, on the four R charts, this is a breakout candle. This is the first red candle. Probably second red candle may also appear, and a third red candle can also be expected. Sixteen eighty four eighty cannot be denied, but only sell position. Confirmation of sell is below sixteen ninety levels, where you can expect sixteen eighty four, sixteen eighty, and then sixteen seventy levels. Directional movement is bearish on the four R charts. Stock is still entering into oversold zone. MACD divergent and bearish, and it is still continuing to diverge. RSI is also looking downwards. Now look at the daily charts. On the daily charts, lower highs so far, and yes, higher lows. Let it break one sixteen ninety. Certainly, more bearishness will kick in, breaking sixteen ninety levels. Yes, you can expect sixteen eighty, sixteen seventy five, sixteen seventy levels to be on cards. See first major support at sixteen eighty, and then this at sixteen seventy. If these two levels are taken, then sixteen sixty is the next support, and below that there is a crash which is left behind. Directional movement bullish so far, and it can converge crossover. Wait for it for it to crossover for a sell entry. Stochastic looking downwards, it may again come back to oversold zone, sustain there for a little while. Means we can expect it to drop till towards sixteen. 80 16 70 levels the directional movement is bullish it is trying to converge rsi is looking downwards considering this see yes if you see it trading above 1700 certainly you can buy there expect 1705 1708 1710 zone the first resistance and then 1715 levels the next resistance beyond that Certainly, you need to wait for it to break out beyond this zone at seventeen twenty one twenty levels. If it breaks beyond this, it is going to fly. As we can see, it trading with a bearish momentum. Yes, there is a downside which is left. We have seen a step here. Probably, if it continues below sixteen ninety, you can expect a further sharper fall 
taking it till towards 1680 70 and 60 levels so take your position accordingly sell at 1690 buy at 1700 on the upside you have to be cautious of 1705 1708 10 levels and then 1715 1720 21 zone beyond 17 20 21 22 yes it is going to fly high so you have to wait for that to happen till 17 20 21 22 levels you should not consider this as bullish on the downside it can break till towards 1670 1660 levels below 1660 it is going to crash heavily you have to wait and watch for it to happen so but yes you can sell there at 1690 itself and take a safer entry but trade with the trailing stop loss only trailing the stop loss is something which is a savior for you you have to trail your stop loss always so that in case of a reversal your trade closes in profit this is all for gold let's have a look at silver and yes if you want to learn this art of trading art of trading profitably taking right entries right exits at the right time you can join my mentorship batch the 16th batch will start on 7th of november be a part of it only limited seats are available and it is purely on the first come first serve basis reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video description also you can be part of my signals group or be part of my uh pattern group in pattern just it is just, just a support tier where my efforts you can uh, appreciate by becoming a supporting member on pattern while signals group i'll give you the signals so reach out to me for more details now look at the early charts on silver it is giving you a breakout here and we can see sharp red candles here it is trading below 20 dollar levels indicating more bearishness at the same time taking the support from the bottom of the Bollinger Bands at 1970 or 19.7 dollars. See also this is the second red candle on the early charts. Probably a third red candle may fall. Looking at this you must realize that only buy position today is about 2020 level. Till the time silver trades below 2020 you should not think of going long or buying silver. Directional movement on the early charts is bearish. Stochastic is again looking downwards. MACD is extremely bearish here and probably from here a little conversion can happen and it must try to converge from here but can you see when it was bullish it was extremely bullish here and see this mountain size here probably it can show same bearishness also do not think that anything which is extreme here is the bottom and it is going to bounce back so wait and watch only buy about 2020 levels till the time do not think of buying silver yes rsi is also oversold hence we can expect a little retracement now look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts too this is giving you a breakout the resistance there at 2020 first red candle second red candle trading outside the bollinger bands hence it may get a pullback and the see every move has a reason behind it with this move which is bought it outside the bollinger bands probably the next candle when it starts the bands would have already been expanded and then there is, should be a little room left for it to continue with the drop directional movement divergent and bearish here stochastic oversold here the macd divergent and bearish again and rsi is again oversold here yes 1960 is a very good support for silver look at the three r charts likewise on the three r charts first red candle we can expect series of red candles here which may bring it till towards the 1960 1940 this zone is very very important for silver 1960 to 1940 if it breaks this certainly 1900 cannot be denied and below 1900 it is going to break again strongly directional movement divergent and bearish stochastic is oversold on the 3 hour charts the MACD is divergent and bearish still it is room for it to drop RSI looking downwards and likewise on the 4 hour charts too it is creating the first red candle after this, uh, two consolidatory candles yes we can expect second or third red candle too which may bring it till towards 60, 1960 1940 levels and below 1940 it may give you a very strong drop till towards 1920-1900 levels directional movement again it is divergent and bearish stochastic is oversold indicates probably a little bounce back can be expected the macd is divergent and bearish and rsi is also looking downwards indicating little bearishness now look at the daily charts clear cut it has breached the support it is trying to trade with a drop and look at this candle size probably it can try to come back for 1960 
1950 in fact 1940 which is a major support so 1950 1960 first support 1940 is the next support and below 1940 only you can confirm that there is little more bearishness left directional movement is crossing over for a sell here the stock isk is also looking downwards it may enter into oversold zone soon the macd is trying to converge it is in green it may converge crossover for a sell entry and the rsi is looking downwards considering the only buy position today is about 2020 and the till the time silver trades below 2010 every rise is an opportunity to sell today you can expect 1960 1940 levels since it has already come back to 1980 we have to wait a little now because the downside movement is limited now 1960 1940 yes you can still get this movement you can still grab this move movement however let it try to bounce back a little and you can enter it around any anyways at around 1990 2000 2010 2010 is the threshold till the time today silver trades below 2010 levels you can certainly remain bearish on silver and in between and in between 2010 and 2020 do not take any position only buy position is about 2020 hence trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss those who are short must put the stop loss at 2010 and then uh, wait for it to continue with the bearish momentum on the downside my target should be at around 1960 1950 1940 1940 the major support below that it may continue to drop take your positions accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank you